I already ate breakfast today. Today I had three packs of Velveeta crackers and like a lot of watermelon. So yeah, that was breakfast. I have my Starbucks dupe, basically just ice, orange slices, raspberries, Celsius in there. And it tastes like a strawberry refresher. To recap, I went on my phone for a little bit and then I ran six and a half miles and then I took my shoes off and look at this beautiful scenery. Oh, so beautiful. Right in the comfort of my backyard. My dad wants me to help me with the pool. I mean, what? Help with the pool. So let's go do that. I also didn't record me helping with the pool, but I did. And here's me struggling to put on the gloves because I they were just not fitting and they were like really tight. And it is currently 5.56 and I just realized I didn't really record that much footage like i am so sorry if you guys are bored please don't click off it is memorial day so i don't know if we have soccer practice today which is why we're just gonna drive there to see but if we do it's at 7 30 and right now it is 608 so i probably am gonna get ready for that and because we need 30 minutes to drive there and then i need to make sure i'm like energized um, so yeah, I definitely need a shower, maybe eat. I don't know. I haven't really been hungry today, by the way. T this is not a what I eat in a day. It's just like some things I ate. Because, I mean, I forget to record a lot. Like, I mean, yeah, I forget to record what I eat a lot. So, all right. So I'm going to pick my outfit because this outfit is clearly drenched from running. It's super cute but it's drenched. So I'm gonna pick an outfit from my closet. Okay, so this outfit is super basic. It's just a yellow tee, a necklace, and my socks, and some very long shorts. I don't really like wearing shorts that are too short. Sometimes I do, but like probably not around people, just on a run when I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> All right, so I took my very brief shower. After my showers, I like to put my hair in a bun. My hair is curly once it's dried and it's just super pretty, I guess. So um, now I am probably gonna pack my bag for soccer and show y'all what's in my bag. Here is my soccer bag. And what I usually bring to soccer is some headbands. I really do want pre-wrap, but like I don't know where to find it. So not for now, we just have some headbands. This is a Lulu headband. This one is from Dollar Tree. And I don't know why these notebooks are in here, but sometimes I like to like track how my session went, especially bad sessions and see where I need to improve. So that's why we have those, but I um, so don't even use them for that reason anymore. Um, Band-aids, just in case, because sometimes I can get splinters from my shin guards. I don't know if that's normal. Even from my cleats, I get splinters sometimes, so I always have some band-aids on me. A pen, obviously, because if you have a notebook, you have a pen. It's like a two-in-one. An earbud case. But there's one earbud missing. I usually don't use these earbuds. But if I say get my AirPods taken. Because like I don't know I did something bad. I got grounded. Oop. I will use these. Bring my shin guards which are right here. I like these Nike shin guards a lot. But sometimes if I lose them I use these Nike ones. I will bring gloves. So. Yeah, but for now, those are just on my desk or my second desk. I have like one desk and then my second desk on the side. So, yeah. 
Of course, I'll also bring my ball. I'm panicking a lot because I thought I lost my AirPods, but they're right here. I left them on the deck. So, thank God. If you guys want to check out my Spotify, just look up playlist for running. It has like around 190 likes right now. Um, and I don't know how people seem to be liking it because I keep getting more and more likes every day, which is awesome.